Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a URL using C Sharp. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import system and system.txt.regular expressions, as we'll be using a regex pattern match to perform our validation. After that, let's look at our main method. So we have got console.writeLine, valid URL, www.google.com. This is going to be the function we're about to make, and obviously this is going to be the URL, the only parameter we need. And then we can do console.readLine to stop the program from closing. So let's define our function. Public static bool, validate URL, string value. This is going to return a boolean, true or false, and obviously it's called validate URL, and... The first parameter and the only parameter is a string of the URL. The first line of code we're going to do is we are going to do value equals value dot trim. So let's say the user inputted a valid URL, but they put a bunch of spaces before or after the URL. It would then be considered invalid. However, they have actually put in a valid URL. They just might have accidentally hit the space key a few times or copy and pasted something with some spaces before or after the URL. And you don't have to include this if you don't want to, but this gives them a bit of leeway. After that, we are going to do rejects pattern equals new rejects, this beautiful string of characters. And then what we do is we do match match equals pattern dot match value. And then we do match dot success and we put that in our return line. So the first line of code, we are creating our regex object, which will store a regex pattern. And this regex pattern, I won't go too much into it, but it's for a valid URL. It's looking for things like HTTP and HTTPS and www and also the domain. It's looking for, for those factors. And then our matcher object is going to be the thing that's going to check if our string follows the rules to find in our rejects object, which is why we can do match match equals pattern dot match value. And this is where our comparison actually takes place. And then we can return match dot success. Match dot, su match dot success uh, just tells us if a pattern match was successful. If it's successful, it becomes true, otherwise it's false. And then we return that to where we call the function. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So we're gonna save our work and hit play. And it's true, www.google.com is a valid URL. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do HTTPS colon slash slash google.com. And it's true. Let's try putting in Bob. And it's false because Bob is not a valid URL. Anyway. Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed. Also, if you want to know how to check if a website exists, click the eye up in the corner. I've got a tutorial on how you can ping an IP address to check for latency and to check if you can reach the address. This is validation. We are checking if a URL is reasonable and, ma and matches a format, not checking if that actually exists. Adios.